Okay, today we are going to talk about literature reviews. How do you find literature reviews? You're in a class that's asked you to find and analyze literature reviews for a certain subject. First, let's talk about what a literature review is and what it isn't. Let's start off by talking about what it isn't. So, in general, most of the articles that you're going to find when you look up a certain topic, if they're peer-reviewed articles, are going to be studies or experiments or surveys, what they're doing, they're collecting original data. They're studying a certain group of people or a certain group of data and drawing conclusions about that set of data. So that's here's an example of what you will find a lot. So I looked up depression and I found studies on depression. This is an individual study very specific. Experience of internet-based cognitive behavior therapy for depression and anxiety among Arabic-speaking individuals in Sweden, a qualitative study. So obviously this is very specific in its original research, okay? So here's the background, the methods, 10 individuals who had previously received this consented to participate and were interviewed. So they interviewed these 10 people and they gathered data and wrote this article based on that, okay? That's not a literature review. This is an individual piece of literature. This is an individual study, but it's primarily going to tell you about the data that they gathered for this. Here's another example. Okay, this is screening accuracy of a 14-day smartphone ambulatory assessment of depression symptoms and mood dynamics. So this is a very specific research article about this one specific thing, okay? And they give you, so they're telling you here, they they selected these people to be studied and they found this strong relationship with with depression in this group of people okay that's not a literature review that's one individual study for your course where they're asking you for a literature review they're kind of looking they're wanting you to find a peer-reviewed article that's a review of a lot of these different things to give you more of an overview so here's an example and it's still very specific association of opioid misuse with anxiety and depression a systematic review of the literature okay so for this they're really not gathering any original data what they're doing if you read through this article they're going to review a whole bunch of these studies these individual studies that they've done that they have done in their literature review they've looked done a bunch of searching and found what they think are the most significant uh, studies on this and they're reviewing it and kind of summarizing what what we know about this based on the literature that's out there right now so it's it's completely different and it's more of giving you a general idea it's great if you don't know a lot about a topic these other ones are going to be frustrating if you jump in and you're trying to learn kind of some of the basics of what's going on you're just going to get this or this study Okay, so I think you understand, hopefully you understand what that is. It's not too, too hard of a concept. Let's talk about how to find them. Okay, what I just said, that's the hard part to understand that. Finding them is very easy. Here's the library website. I'm going to jump right into advanced search here to search all of our databases at once. And this is really very easy to do. I'm going to type in depression. I'll probably put that in the titles of the articles. Now, this it's really this easy. You type in here, literature review. And I'm also going to put that in the title. And when it comes back, every, and I have the peer reviewed limiter on by default. So all of these are going to be peer reviewed. And you notice all of these are literature reviews. Okay. That's really, you notice this one's a little further down into it, but all of these are literature reviews. So it's really that easy. To do that you could also say here in literature review you could say or review of the literature sometimes you'll see now we have 388 there when we put or review of the literature it just about doubled so you could also do that and some of them will say a review of the lario a systematic review of the literature so that's the basics of how you find literature reviews. It's really that easy. I would put in the topic that you're looking for. You can put it in the title if you want or not. I put it in title just because that's the most specific way to search. You could also do subject. You could just leave it blank, select a field, or you could do subject. And then I would put in the title in the second box, literature review. Notice I put that in quotation marks. I don't, I want literature review or quotation marks review of the literature. It is really that simple. 
and every one of these articles that will come back will be peer-reviewed, but they'll be reviewing a lot of different studies instead of just giving you one study. And that's what your instructor is looking for. That's the basics of how to find a literature review. It's really that simple. As always, please let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to work with you on this topic or any other. Thanks a lot for watching.